Let's see how a uh, psychrometric chart is constructed. If you know how it is constructed, then it will make it easy for us to use it. This chart is actually a marvelous way to present all the properties of air and water vapor mixture in a concise manner and then a rather easy way to extract useful information. Now, first note that a psychrometric chart is for a given barometric pressure. So if you live close to the sea level and you are looking for uh, psychrometric properties, uh, then you should use a chart for one atmospheric pressure or 101.3 kilopascals. You can also get uh, special charts for higher altitudes. So let's begin uh, by first drawing a skeleton outline for a psychrometric chart. So first we draw a horizontal line and then a vertical line on the right hand side and uh, extend it at the top with a horizontal and uh, then draw a curve uh, on the left hand side. So uh, this is a skeleton of a psychrometric chart. We will label the uh, x-axis as uh, dry bulb temperature which will be in degree Celsius and we will put some values 20, 30, 40 and so on uh, 90 uh, degrees Celsius. And then we draw vertical lines that originate from these values and uh, these vertical lines represent constant dry bulb temperature. So any point on that line is a constant dry bulb temperature. Uh, for example, any point on the 90 degree C line uh, represents the constant temperature of 90 degrees C dry bulb temperature. On the left hand curve, we write down the values for the wet bulb temperature. And uh, those values are say 20, 30, 40, 50. And then we draw oblique lines. Uh, as shown here. These lines represent constant wet bulb temperature. So any point on a line for a wet bulb temperature uh, will represent that constant temperature we can read uh, by following that line all the way to the curve. The right hand side axis is for humidity ratio and we write numbers as 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 uh, the units are grams of water per kilogram of dry air. And humidity ratio lines are represented as horizontal lines, as we see here. Uh, so again, any point on a line represents a constant humidity ratio. Next, we have curves that represent percent relative humidity. Uh, and we will label them as uh, relative humidity curves. And the values may range from, let's say, 1% uh, to uh, 50%. And uh, the leftmost curve is for 100% relative humidity. And we also call it the saturation curve. Next, we will extend the wet bulb temperature lines in the left hand region and these are the enthalpy, constant enthalpy lines, units of enthalpy being kilojoules per kilogram dry air and uh, we can put the unit numbers as say 50, uh, 60, 70 and so on. The last curves that we will show here are these again oblique lines at a different slope than the wet bulb temperature lines and these are for specific volume. Now the unit for specific volume is cubic meter per kilogram of dry air. 
So as you see in this chart, we represent a, uh, a number of uh, properties, the dry bulb temperature, wet bulb temperature, humidity ratio, percent relative humidity, uh, enthalpy, and uh, specific volume. Now let's look at some animations. Uh, again, to reinforce what we just saw when we were drawing the sketch. So we have for dry bulb temperature, these uh, vertical lines uh, that represent uh, the constant dry bulb temperature. Similarly, the wet bulb temperature lines, the percent relative humidity curves, the enthalpy lines, which are essentially the wet bulb temperature lines that are extended and the humidity ratio represented by horizontal lines. And then the other item as shown here is, are the specific volume lines which are at a slightly different slope than the wet bulb temperature lines. So here we have it, uh, a psychrometric chart with all the properties. You have seen how it is constructed. Now in the following modules we will uh, see how we can use this chart to get useful information.